Hey Joe, it's folks here and today we're going to be taking a look at this store here. It is called girlpaddlers.com. We'll be reviewing it, breaking it down. If you're someone that is opening a print on demand store, hopefully this review uh, will help you out. So basically here with all of these uh, reviews that we're doing inside of this series, we're looking at six different things on the store. Homepage brand, product page brand, the social media presence of the store, the niche choice, the product selections, and the designs. If you want to uh, get some help getting started, make sure to check out some of the links down in the description. I have my free course. There's over 20 step-by-step -step videos to show you how to start your store and get started with Facebook ads. Uh, you can also check out my print-on-demand Facebook group. It's called the POD Ninjas Group. There is more training there. There's 50,000 store owners, uh, and that's actually where I'm getting all of these stores to review in this series. So if you want to get your store reviewed, look for this post that I make every single Tuesday, drop your URL, and maybe you will be featured in a future video like this. So uh, like I said, we're going to be jumping into six different things here uh, about girlpaddlers.com. First up, we have the homepage brand. Uh, I gave them a four out of 10 for this. I'm going to kind of break it down and talk about why here. Uh, first and foremost, I think they have a good color scheme. Uh, if we go back to the store, uh, you can see throughout the store, they have used this blue color. You can see it in the logo, as well as in the menu in the top left, also uh, in this little bar down at the bottom. Also, their prices are that same blue as well. Quickly, I just want to say, as I do these reviews, my goal is to be helpful. So uh, I'm going to be trying to give as much positive feedback as possible. But if there's anything negative, this is meant to help, not to uh, put this store owner down and make them feel bad or anything like that. My goal is to help here. And then potentially, if you're watching the video as well, maybe through hearing some of the constructive criticism, you will get some help with your store uh, so that way you can improve. I think overall the store needs uh, some better branding, right? I think maybe some lifestyle images, maybe a better use of the logo throughout the store homepage. If we go back to the store here, uh, it's basically just products, right? There's not really any imagery here to illustrate what the store and the brand and the niche is, is really all about, right? Typically when you land on a homepage of a store, you'll see a nice header image that really showcases what they're trying to do. Uh, the header image they have here, you know, just kind of has some pretty basic mock-ups of the products that they have. As you continue to scroll through the store, it's really just, you know, some products. And then, you know, they ask for your email here, then there's an image here in the background, which is nice. Uh, but then the rest of it, it just it just kind of ends, right? This, the homepage feels a little bit empty uh, to me, uh, if I'm being honest. I also think um, maybe some sort of about us uh, on the homepage, like something about the brand, something about what they're all about, you know, something that's going to help to really illustrate uh, this this brand, right? Uh, I think the logo is also really small, right? If we're looking at it on a desktop version, it looks okay. On a mobile, uh, it looks really small. And I think that, you know, a logo is one of the first things that people see when they land on your store. So it's great to make sure that it really stands out and that it is something that is going to set the tone for your brand as people click through and look at all of the different things. So overall, I gave them a four out of 10 on their homepage brand here. Uh, product page brand, I actually gave them a one. Uh, if you guys have watched my reviews in the past, uh, you know I am really big on product pages. And the reason for that is because that's where people buy, right? That's where people add things to their cart. That's where people make buying decisions. And it's very important to make sure that your product page actually converts people. Uh, I think this store, and I'll show you this in a second, uh, they have some pretty boring product images as well as uh, relatively generic product descriptions uh, that I think that they could uh, really just work on a little bit more. We'll just click on any one of these products and I'll show you uh, what I mean. So when you land on the product page, okay, basically they've just taken the exact description uh, from the print on demand app that they're using. So basically when they uploaded their design, they were given this description here and that's exactly what they kept there. There's nothing additional. If we click through all of these other products, there's no branding elements at all here in the description. Right? And even when we start clicking through product images, like these are just the standard images from the print on demand supplier, which is not really a big deal. Uh, sometimes what I like to do is add my logo to these images, maybe in the corner or something like that. Uh, but 
you know, definitely adding something into the description might be a big help. One thing I do as well is add images into my description as well. And that way, when you're looking at it on a mobile device, it scrolls really well and it'll just help people to want to uh, make a purchase, right? Because you're actually bringing in some branding elements. Basically, everything I talk about doing on your homepage, you wanna make sure you do some of that on your product page. Adding things like about the store in general into the product description would be a good thing as well. So, uh, like I said, overall, I them a one out of ten for the product page because there's really just not much there okay uh, social media this store did a fantastic job okay uh, I gave them a nine out of ten for this uh, they have great graphics on their page uh, they have uh, they're super active they're posting really consistently the only reason I didn't give them a ten is because I think they need some more product promotion on their social pages and I'll show you exactly uh, what I mean here. So if we go to their Instagram, right? They got 860 followers, uh, pretty good bio here, right? Just like really just a good description of the brand. They have uh, their link in the bio. They have some highlights here as well. As we scroll through, they have done a great job at creating some really nice posts, right? Sometimes when I reviewed stores in the past, one of the feedbacks I've given has been uh, that the posts that they're making don't look high quality. They don't look professional, right? This store has done a fantastic job at making pro uh, professional looking posts, okay? If we look at their Facebook page, uh, the same thing, right? They have a really nice header up at the top, right? Some really great images showing uh, some things about the niche. They have their logo in there. They are doing a great job at creating a branded Facebook page, right? If we continue to scroll down, again, they have the same posts that they're sharing on Instagram, and you can see that they are pretty active, right? All of these posts that you're looking at here are all made within the last week. So they are posting consistently here on their page, and they're even getting some engagement on these posts. Some of them have a decent amount of of likes uh, Instagram if we go back they have a decent amount of comments like there was one post I saw in here uh, where they're asking a question right what are your weekend paddle plans and they got a whole bunch of comments in here people telling them where they're going that's gonna help uh, to get their post to go a little bit more viral on Instagram right the whole name of the game with Instagram is to get more people to see your posts and grow your pages organically and this store is doing a great job at cultivating that now the one bit of feedback, the reason why I gave them a nine out of 10 on their social media pages rather than a full 10 is because there's really just not a lot of product promotion here on their social pages, right? If I scroll on Instagram, we have to scroll all the way back to March 30th to see a product, right? Today, as I'm recording this, it is May 9th, right? So it's been over a month since they've posted a product that they are selling on their Instagram. Okay, same thing is true on Facebook. If we continue to scroll through, there is not really much here in terms of products that they are selling, right? Typically, what I would do is post a product, you know, a couple times a week, right? If, if not daily, right? Like while you're posting uh, all of this other stuff, like try to post pictures of your products too. That's going to get people excited about, you know, what you're selling. And, and, you know, of course it's good to get people to, you know, engage with your page and things like that, but you got to have uh, some, some product promotions in here as well, right? That's how you monetize your social media pages is by having some products being posted as well. So like I said, Great job, they're super active, they have great graphics. I think they just need some more product promotions. Uh, maybe even run some sales on social media. Make a post and say, hey, like shop this product only uh, now and through now through Sunday and get 20% off and then create a unique discount code or something like that. That's gonna get people uh, to want to purchase instead of just posting you know, quirky posts and getting engagement. At the end of the day, you can't trade your followers and your comments and your likes in for money at the bank so you're gonna have to promote your products in some way on your social media pages so like I said 9 out of 10 great job uh, but I think you need to add some products in there okay now for niche I gave them a 10 uh, the niche is great uh, the niche is you know women paddle boarders now as you guys know I talk a lot about in print on demand uh, that the biggest thing that you need to do is choose a good niche right 
we are selling products uh, like hoodies and water bottles and uh, bags and hats and you know all this other stuff that people don't really need, right? There's not really a problem that these products are solving. These are typically going to be impulse type of purchases that people are making with print on demand in general, right? And when it comes to that, in order to succeed, in order to get people interested, you need a great niche, right? If you don't have a great niche, then you're going to struggle to get people to actually want to make a purchase from you. So that means you have to choose a good niche, right? And this store did. Uh, they're focused on girl paddlers, right? Paddling in general is a niche, but they took it a step further and they are targeting girl paddlers, right? Unique clothing and gifts for women of all ages who love to paddle, right? That is who they're going after. That is a good niche. So good job uh, with that that okay gave them a 10 product selections uh, I think they've selected some some stuff that makes sense for what they're doing right if we go back to their store you know you see a lot of hoodies and water bottles and some bags and some hats I think though they could probably do better if they added some you know higher margin stuff in maybe some all over printed clothing or something like that uh, a few episodes ago uh, i reviewed this store here uh, for this store review series this is trailrunningaddicts.com if you haven't seen that review uh, go check it out but this is a store for people that love to run and they've done a great job at adding in some all over printed clothing uh, some hoodies some leggings and things like that these are going to be a lot higher profit uh, and they're going to allow you to create some really cool designs, right? One of the designs that I really talked about in that store review uh, was this one here. If you don't know what an all over printed hoodie is, basically you can design all over the entire thing. Uh, you can basically make your design cover every inch of the fabric and it, and it creates just a really cool uh, product. And something like this only is going to cost you about $32. And you can see this store here is selling it for $65.97. So really good profit margin there. That would be the one one thing that I would suggest to this store here in terms of their products would be to try to add some of those things in uh, and get away from some of these lower profit things like hats or stickers or something you know like that so that was my one feedback on product selections now when it comes to designs um, I, I gave them a 5 out of 10. Um, the majority of their designs are lacking the wow factor. Uh, and I think really what I mean by that is kind of the difference between uh, this store here, the Girl Paddler's store, and uh, our Trail Running Addicts store, right? Kind of same thing. Uh, where this store here is, you know, they're creating some really dynamic and unique things. And then this store here, like, it's just a design that says life is simple, just add water, and it has their logo on it, right? I think, you know, it makes sense for what they're doing they're creating like this like semi clothing line uh, within within a niche right where they're just kind of like putting their logo on hoodies like that uh, they're creating really simple designs that say paddle mode on I think if they were to venture into some better products they might be able uh, to create some some better designs right I think really when it comes to, oh that link doesn't work right there I just clicked the header let me go back to the home page and see if I can go view some of that you know some of these designs here you know like these t-shirts that say let's go paddle like these are pretty basic uh, products right I don't think like let's go paddle this this t-shirt right like let's say that they did post this on their Instagram uh, and then said like save 20% or something like that on one of these posts I'm not sure it would get people like super excited right Again, if you were doing something like this, like this store is, where you're creating a lot more dynamic and unique designs, like maybe people would get a little bit more uh, excited than just a t-shirt that says, you know, let's go paddle or something like that. So that's why I gave them a five out of 10 uh, for their designs. Now, overall, this store, I think they're close. I think, like I said, they've done the hard part. They've chosen a good niche, right? That's the key to print on demand. I also think they've done a good job with social media. Uh, and I think if they just kind of put some different things together with, you know, their product selections and their designs and then they, they kind of up their marketing game a little bit and marketing their products, they might be able to take things to the next level. I also made some comments about their homepage and their product page brand to try to elevate those. Um, 
Social media, like I said, though, was good. Niche was great. Products could be better, and so could the designs. Overall, they got a 5.6 out of 10, uh, which is kind of like middle of the road for you know all of our store reviews that we've been doing. So if you've been following along and watching this series, you've seen me review some other stores, uh, and hopefully you know today uh, was helpful. But like I said, this was uh, girlpaddlers.com. Uh, I got this post from inside of the P or this store from inside of the POD Ninjas group, where every single Tuesday. Tuesday, I ask people to share uh, their URLs to be reviewed uh, in a video like this. Uh, if you you know wanted to get some more help, like I like I always say, check some of the links down in the description. I have free training, I have paid training as well. So far, my students have made about five million dollars in sales on their own stores. So if you're looking for some help, definitely check it out. If not, Go watch some of my other videos. I upload multiple videos every single week here on YouTube. Uh, my goal is to try and uh, truly give some actionable and good advice rather than just your typical uh, YouTube fluff and clickbait. So uh, if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video.